What is the charge, sir? Enjoying a rim world? A succulent dining rim world? And where did your failure bring you? Back to me. Or oh, more specifically, welcome back to Rimworld Genetics, where today we're gonna die. Because we we do that here, especially in this series. Our most difficult raid yet. Three people. Three people with firearms. And you're probably thinking, no, boy of noodles. You're probably thinking that three people is, uh, is baby town. That's baby Rimworld town. No, 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 no. If any of our people get shot and they get an infection, that's it. You can, you can write them off. That's the end of them. In fact, why don't we take our valuable people... I know that this is a horrible thing to do with your society, to decide who has worth and who doesn't. So we're going to take all the valuable people and send them home, and we're going to take all the valueless people and put them on the front line. <laughs> like the commenters. What have you got equipped there? What is that? Of course. It's an eel. <laughs> of course it's an eel. Why would it not be? Silly me. Let's go grab that hand cannon that was conveniently by the doorstep. What we need is perhaps, dare I say it, or some defenses. We, we do actually have enough cloth for sandbags here. That's what I'm going to work on today. Yesterday we was, was very sweaty. You know, we, we were playing very sweaty Rimworld. No one died except for Freddy, who had horrible liver cirrhosis, which I was waiting until we got knocked to the hospital before he replaced his liver, and then wasn't notified that his liver was about to explode. That's not my fault. I even said during that episode, we're going to wait until we've got a good hospital before I do organ transplants, but that still doesn't stop people complaining. What was that? Did you hear that? Hello? And though I'm not super confident in saying we have a working hospital, we, we do have literally a working hospital. It's not a good hospital though, is it? I think today's focus will be on defenses because that really has been... Look, if you've got good defenses, you don't need a good hospital because then you won't get shot. This is the first series I've done in a while without any sort of limitations on turrets, so that'll be nice. Low, I'm not going to lie, I don't think you're too handy here, my friend. Uh, let's put on the front line then with the garbage characters. I think Karen can leave. Oh, you can leave. You're pretty good. Well, someone's got to fight this battle. I can't have Shmeeb on the front lines. It's Boy of Noodles. It's all down to Boy of Noodles and Slick, our combat characters. I mean, thank God Slick's here. <laughs> Slick, what's wrong with you? Why are you taking so Oh, yeah, I forgot. Slick is more tumor than man now. Okay, well, maybe we're, maybe we're not allowed to pick and choose. Maybe, maybe we don't have that luxury right now. Get your gun. Let's get into some cover, at least. That is uh, generally considered fairly sensible. Oh, the people without guns, you can leave. That's my compromise here. Right, there we go, there we go, there we go. Okay, let me come a little closer. Oh, there you go. Little Bicky, your time has come, my friend. This is a Patreon raid, so they are going to have very silly names because the Patreon factions is known for such things. Okay, see, I don't like the look of that grenade launcher. Uh, no pressure, but maybe we deal with you first. Come on, we're doing fine. Uh, Boy of Noodles, move up. Shmeeb, move up. You move... Uh, shit, move there, move there. Ah! <laughs> maybe, maybe don't stand on those grenades, sir. How are we doing? How are we doing? There's one down. Why have they only got grenades? That's the one thing I can't deal with. I, I suppose we do have a flesh-crafted toe to replace the one that uh, Shmeeb just lost. So we'll get on that in a minute. Maybe keep moving. Honestly, at this point, run and gun might be the safest strategy. I know people hate it when I do that, but at this point, you, you can't argue with the facts. Uh, just run up. Just run up. If we could get that grenade launcher for ourselves, that would be fantastic. Flee. Flee. Boil and die. Yes. We've actually got it. Oh, this is the best day of my life. Right, are you people any good? Medical 11, social 11, social 13, construction 4, and... Crafting 10, intellectual 11. Uh, Nasta Doa is pretty good. You're not bad at all, are you? Pyromaniac, big bone. All right, I've changed my mind. It was the pyromaniac more than the big bone. But, I'm, I mean, I hope that's obvious. <laughs> People with big bones are more than welcome in this colony. Uh, you know what? Give me your clothes. That's unrelated to the thing I just said with my mouth. Give me, give me that. Give me your damn clothes. Give me your grenade launcher. That's mine now. Okay, Shmeeb needs a toe. Now, though I was apprehensive to do an operation to replace a whole liver, given that we're not exactly in the most ideal circumstances for that, using <laughs> herbs that we've grown in the garden, I think at this point we can probably get away with it, to be honest. So... Oh, God. Oh, ancient crypto drone hack for the for the relic. That's nice. Shmeeb, I don't know what I'm doing here. Well, I do know what I'm doing, but I, I'm saying the concept of it, I'm not entirely sure what I know. We took a person, we turned them into a toe, and now we're going to give you that toe. We're going to stitch it on, Elden Ring style. Four fathers, one and all. Bear it doesn't really have the same effect, does it, if you're just stitching on a toe? It's not really, it's not really very kind of 
Godric moment. It's, it's a weird experience playing Elden Ring because they all have the same accents as my hometown. Oh, it's very, very bizarre. Oh, don't do that. No, 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 no. Are we out of food again? I, I mean, it's not the bedside manner I'd be happy with if I was admitted to hospital. What are you doing? There's three simple meals and you're feeding him a corpse. <laughs> You'll excuse me, I'm going to take our entire human corpses off of, you know, all corpses. They can get off the lavish meals. I, I mean, some of these are just bizarre. Cave moss. Kibble. I get it that sometimes it's better to snack on your mate than die of starvation. In this situation, I think we can probably hang on until someone's done a little bit of fishing. What in God's name are you doing now? Now? You wait, what did you just do before? Oh, you tended the long worms. Oh, I thought you were stitching on the toe. Wait, what are you doing? You just tended the toe. Gotcha. All right, here we go. Right, so again, all those comments in the comments... Uh, sorry to go off early. I know I said I wouldn't be so angry today. All those comments in the comment section yesterday of people like, why didn't he do the, 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 the liver surgery? That's fucking why I didn't do the liver surgery, brother. A man can't even stitch on a toe. All he's got to do is glue it onto the stump. And you wonder why I didn't trust him to do liver surgery. Unfathomable. Unfathomable. I mean, to be fair, he died, so we literally had nothing else to lose. I mean, it couldn't have gotten any worse. That's a fair retort. Well done. I can only commend you on that. I don't trust this man. <laughs> don't get cracked his patella trying to stitch on a toe. That's not a man you trust to do surgery. <clears throat> Today is calm room world, though. We're, we're only exclusively calm room world now. Uh, we are going to equip that grenade launcher. <laughs> Nothing says calm reward like unpredictable weapons that'll almost certainly get our people killed. And for those of you commenting on the non-lethal pistol, it does say that the blunt force trauma will result in death. You have to punch people a lot in reward to give them death. Give them death? Yeah, it sounds about right. If we're looking to take prisoners, punching is still safer than non-lethal pistol. But if you got like a grand sleeve rebellion, that's maybe when you crack out the non-lethal pistol. Unbel I'm, I'm still angry about that. Shmeep had a missing toe, was tended, was fine, and then instead we've hospitalized them and almost killed them. They're at 54% health. I, I, I mean, it's just terrible. It's all just terrible. Let's build just like a flat wall. No more semicircles. Friendship ended with semicircles. Let's do that. And then this we can turn into a not kill box, but a zone in which people can die that we're going to build into a box shape. A not kill box. Beggars are leaving empty handed. You can get out. You don't get anything. Oh, no. What is that? What's it doing? Oh, it's got that. It's got that rabbit. <laughs> I thought it was going for the beggars. <laughs> we have another wanderer joining. A story writer named Sho. Story writer... Maybe not, maybe not a doctor in that case, but yeah, sure, we'll take him, why not? How, how good are you? Six intellectual double passion, a chef! Oh, okay, I'll take that one happily. I mean, they're not as good as I'd like, but that, that'll do, for sure. World weary, squeamish gourmand. Oh, good. No adulthood backstory. They're pretty good, so they haven't got an adulthood backstory there. Okay, uh, big downer, and it's very hard to become friends with him. Great. <laughs> squeamish if they're around blood or rotten corpses? Oh, God. And gourmand. Well, honestly, I'm just glad I moved the human corpses out of the food freezer into the human corpse freezer. <laughs> and we got machining as well. Nice and cumulative analyzer. Then we can make this hospital state of the art. Oh, is what I would say if we had some friggin' silver. Actually, maybe I should build an orbital trade beacon. That would probably help. <laughs> Those things are pretty handy, right? I'm still going to keep our people organized by shooting skill right now. Yeah, I think that works. Just because fighting raids with our best people is going to be the best way to stop our people dying horribly. I know that makes sense normally, but even when people get shot in regular room mode, you can patch them up pretty fast, right? In this, we don't really have that option. <laughs> we don't have that option at all. Oh, I've made a horrible oversight. <laughs> that is an ancient danger, isn't it? I was going to go pretty hefty on the not kill box. It's not a kill box. And nobody ever said, nobody ever said it was a kill box. In a series where our people are going to be shredded at every turn, I feel like I am owed a slightly more dense uh, defense box than I would normally be concerned with. Come on, come outside. I mean, I suppose it'll smash that down, which will save me a job. Oh. This could instantly kill our people, let alone them dying of infections. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it dead. Kill it dead. Oh, well, you might as well leave. And you might as well leave. And you might as well leave. And then you two come over here. They're going to be out of cover very briefly, but I think that'll be fine. Shit. Oh, Shmeeb's leg. 
That's Shmeeb's best feature. Oh, I thought that was going to hit then. Yeah, they're doing okay. They're doing okay. Come on, squad. I mean, this was the ultimate place to pop open an ancient danger, right? <laughs> when, they're in a, when they're in a definitely not kill box. Good lord, I thought it would never end. Shmeeb, how you looking? Gunshot with the... Ooh, that was close. 97% <laughs> damage, wow. Well, if there wasn't a chance of infection before, there almost certainly is. Now, what's in that crate? Oh. Oh. <laughs> if only you could see my face right now. Holy crap. Charge lance, though. You can't get those. Hmm. Well, that's mine now. 14 Luciferium is really, really good. Obviously, the 8 Glottal Medicine is fantastic. That allows to cure some life-threatening problems. But the 14 Luciferium, as I've said before, you only take one Luciferium every five days. So that gives us a very, very long time to keep someone alive. And in that time, we can almost certainly find more Luciferium. Let's get Shmi pa patched up first, and then we'll go in and hit those Ancient Crypto Caskets later on, I think. Now, in theory, you should be fine. This is, this is like a low infection chance. You've got a nice, clean hospital. Somebody said we didn't have to put the bins in each room because they worked through the walls. That's true, but we've only got four things that link up to it inside the room. Uh, so there's no reason to not have as much coverage uh, of, of cleaning as possible. We might as well make sure it's, it's permanently always clean, right? There you go. I think you'll be fine. Honestly, I think you're going to be okay. Oh, you also got a hit in the neck. <laughs> That's probably a little more of a, an immediate concern. 70% quality from... Uh, from a, uh, from crappy regular old medicine. That's fine. We could turn the ancient danger into triage, into like a tiny little hospital here that we can just keep some medicine in and then tend people immediately at the end of a battle because it's going to be a lot more sensible. What the hell's going on over there? We got a murderous donkey. Um. <laughs> it will make sense to drag them from like here to this area, then dragging them all the way back to the base, right? Shmeeb would have been would have been a lot happier with that. Ah, secondary damage from what? The long worms. Man, this sucks. What does that do? Is that a permanent minus ten percent to a lung? I'm sure we've got to have some flesh crafted lungs at this stage. A liver, spine, tongue, arm, three ears, a finger, a hand, two hearts, and a leg. All right, I take that back. Um, let's see if we can maybe 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 rustle one up. See if we can maybe maybe get one of those sorted out. Come on, lung. Foot. Damn it. Secondary damage from long worms again, I assume. This is... This is brutal. <laughs> oh, this is absolutely brutal. Are you... Are you joking? You having a laugh? You think this is funny? Why would Rimwald do this? <laughs> you know, I'm getting the strangest feeling that maybe this room is not the best for a hospital. Boy of Noodles. You coward. Final straw was sick. Everybody's sick here. Everybody is sick. If they all acted like you, we'd be dead in no time. Boy of Noodles is probably about to get shredded by horrible, horrible insects. And you know what? It's very hard to have sympathy. It's very hard to have sympathy. He could have had bravery in the face of overwhelming odds, and instead he was a coward. A big, big, stinky coward. How are we doing, though? Besides Boy of Noodles, Slick's been hit. Slick, how you looking? A bite in the arm? <laughs> <laughs> What's left of Slick has been bitten in the arm. <laughs> and a little bit of friendly fire, maybe, to uh, help solidify things. Careful there. Let's get on the diagonal. Try and get a little faster. That's Sweaty Rimwald right there. That's something I would never normally do. Slick's down. Slick, you coward. I mean, the extreme pain from the carcinoma is probably... I, I, I mean, I'll let you off. You're no boy of noodles. Good lord. <laughs> what a mess. Ooh, how are you doing? My god, I thought that was his health bar then. Well, obviously, he's nameless. My god. Uh, Boy Moon's bleeding out in eight hours. Let's get you... Okay, you're going to rescue Slick. Fine. Uh, show Rescue Boy of Noodles. Hey, now that we've almost got a working functional hospital, I feel a little bit happier about renaming them at this point. Oh, god. Shmeeb, grab the nameless man. The nameless man is back up. It's probably faster to let them go their own way. Oh, for god's sake. No, 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 no. Why can I not make you rest? Prisoner is escaping. Did I just say capture and not rescue? Did I just say capture and not rescue? Yeah, but even then... What? 
What's just what what just happened there? <laughs> Alright, I watched it back. I did accidentally press capture, but I've never seen it that they would immediately flip faction. Why are you doing this? Why are you why are you doing this? Me bring him bring him back. What are you talking about? Boy of Noodles randomly developed hepatitis K because he lost too much blood. I don't how, how, do, how does that work? How, how does that happen? Are you saying that I've got a stinky hospital? I'll have you know only half of the floor is dirt. <laughs> this, is too, this, is too, this is too difficult. Am I going to have to accept this is too difficult? It's not difficult in the sense that we're never going to be able to do anything of value. It's just our colonists are going to slowly be turned into giant disease balls. Oh, I hate you. And now he's got an infection. Okay, now he's dead. He wasn't dead before. He almost certainly is now. That needs to be on urgent refill, I think. I think we need to get this medicine here as soon as possible, like the second they harvest it. Because it's like, I mean, it's not super inconvenient to go and walk and grab some medicine. But it, 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 I mean, every, no, every second counts. Can we transfer Boy of Noodles to the better bed? I mean, that would really help out a lot. Um, Cannot walk. What if I set that to regular? And then we set this one to regular and then we rescue then you go to the nice bed full of dreams and wonders and hope no that is not acceptable five percent another infection this is i mean this is insane this is actually actually full-on insane this is a the, the, the folly of a madman 70 percent. that's not going to be enough Okay, uh, what have we got flesh crafted here? Because I think we might have to replace some, replace some limbs. Um, we could go peg leg. Now, bear in mind, not biological. Would like to clarify. Yes, trees are biological. I wouldn't consider my friggin' chair alive. We can install a peg leg, not because it is technically biological, but because you can just do that with any prosthetics. However, it's a minus 30 to mood. So they will just permanently break down, and if they break down with an infection, they die. So I'm not going to take that risk. Simultaneously, I'm about to trust the guy who couldn't stitch on a toe to swap a leg out for another. Oh, God. <laughs> ah, should we leave it a little longer first? I did that last time and Freddy died. I mean, it, I, it, we just can't beat it, right? Right arm. The infection is catching the immunity. It's very close, but it is. Okay, um, the right leg, the left leg, sorry, sorry, the right leg's the one with the benign growth, uh, 14%, 21% spread, the infection is still outpacing it, man, I, 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 I this is, this is hell on earth, fine, uh, here's what we do then, give him the leg, he's gonna die regardless, we might as well try it, and then if this fails, we, we amputate. If we amputate first, then stitch on the leg, that's twice the chance of failing a surgery. I mean, all surgeries have difficulty associated with it, but this is a, a tactical gamble. And now he's got phantom pain! As far as I know, phantom pain only affects limbs that you do not have. Man has it... Oh, he's recovering from it. Because it's a fleshy leg and not his other leg. I mean, his other leg, I presume, was fleshy. Unless he's a robot. Install his arm. Please, Sabra, install the arm. We're going to make him a golem. A big old flesh golem. I thought that was another infection. And I'm telling you right now, I felt a vein on my head bulge. Get a... Let's get some cooling. We'll get a little cooling in the hospital. I haven't got the components for it. Understandable. Have a great day. Um... And not only that, every single bedroom is separate to avoid infection. Um, oh, sorry, contagion. And we would need a cooler for every single room. <laughs> you starting to see the problem here. One, two, three, four, five, six, arguably seven, eight times three is 24 components I don't bloody have. This is, this is chaos. This is complete nonsense. Karen, my brother, I need you to wake up and I need you to go and get me some components. Do we have any others on the map? Because this is becoming a recurring problem. Hello, give me your components. Five additional ores on top of the 14 we've got already. That's a lot of components, to be fair. 
That's probably close to 40, if not over 40 components with that. Slick is no longer incapable of walking, though he'll probably be wishing he had died in that fight. <laughs> I mean, what do we do? I mean, the one in the uh, torso, we just need to excise, right? Um, can we even do that? Do we have the medicine? We can. Four medicine in the torso, but again, it's a gamble on the surgery. Because if we excise it, then he ends up with an infection. He'll just die. How's Boy of Noodles doing right now? Infection minor in the right arm. Oh, it is staying ahead. 29% immunity, 26. So we're staying exactly 3% ahead, and it needs tending immediately. In fact, I'm so sorry to wake you up. Uh, this is a life or death scenario, my friend. Right, now that's a problem. <laughs> I'm gonna have nightmares about this mod pack. I've, I've, I've crafted something unholy. So you're dead. No matter how hard I try, you're dead. We could trust another doctor. Dr. Slick with his three medical skill. All right. I mean, it's the best we've got. Get this herbal medicine hauled. Let's get it all in there. And then let's just gamble. Let's just try it. Oh, I'm so sorry. Boy of Noodles, you were our second colonist. But, yeah, I mean, there's nothing left of you. You are not the same Boy of Noodles. Come on. Before the infection. Okay, let's just kick back in. This is where the immunity will start to be outpaced. But the infection, 34, 35%. Come on. 26%. That's not going to be enough, is it? If it was staying steady at 60%. Sorry, 70% 10 quality. So you're fucking dead. Amputate? <laughs> How much medical skill do you think someone needs to amputate? Amputate right arm. Uh, yes. Medical skill required. None. Death chance on fail. 0%. Sir, I'm going to have to disagree. It's Surgeon Slick, everybody. Round of applause. Oh, shit. I mean, what's, what's the worst that can happen? He's going to get an infection. <laughs> Slick, looking mighty confident in his medical skills. Karen, how's it going? Karen, all of this operation is for nothing if you can't get the, the components. 12 components. That's enough for five coolers. Don't check the maths on that. On the plus side, we might have some replacements. Oh, you see that flicker? You see that flicker then? It's, it's actually catching up. I, red means bad. Y yellow means potentially bad. It's, it's more red than yellow. Get, get it gone. Sabre, it's collapsed due to exhaustion. Holy shit. This is golden. Slake, halfway through surgery, I'm going to have to ask you to stop. <laughs> Class, put down your pencils. Oh, shit. Well, Godspeed. This is a nightmare. He hasn't, he hasn't had any sleep. He hasn't had any food. The golden god that is Sabre comes through in the clutch. Uh, tend to him. Patch him up. Holy shit. I mean, it's not ideal. But he's going to live to fight another day. Flesh crafted arm, flesh crafting leg. I'm missing the other arm. Do we have another fleshy arm? We could just give him another fleshy arm. Flesh crafted arm. Nothing. Nothing yet. Rise from your grave. Tongue. Shit. Was that, was that actually what we got though? Foot, stomach, liver. Yep, that's a shame. I tried. Can we replace anything? Okay, okay, okay. So look. Our most valuable colonist currently... I would say Sho. I would say Shmeeb and Karen. Oh, Karen for sure. And obviously Saba, but he can't operate on himself. We could get Slick to do it, <laughs> but that's probably a bit dangerous. Do they have anything we could replace? Oh, Jesus. A whole person. <laughs> I mean, a whole new person for you. We could swap out, say, the... What's wrong with your stomach? You got a mangled stomach. That's okay. I was, I was like a bad kebab will do that. Uh, secondary damage in the lung. We don't have a lung, right? Foot. Oh, shit. Man, it's a mess. Karen, do you need anything? You, you need, you've got chronic stomach disorder. My friend, it's a good day to be Karen. Cancel these hospital beds. That's too many components that I can't afford right now when we're in the middle of a heat wave. It's only 45 degrees C. What's, the, what's wrong with you? That's an average summer day in this friggin' room with my computer in it. Oh my God. It's like Godzilla. <laughs> You know, I'm not really sure I want that thing in our base. Oh, it's leaving. That's that's nice. Karen, my friend, welcome to the good side. No, I wouldn't say good side. I would, I would say the way it went horrible. I, I won't lie. I started giving her a new stomach, and then it occurred to me she wasn't actually a flesh crafter, and if we gave her the new stomach, it would, <laughs> it, would it would kill her. It would probably give her an infection and kill her dead. Let's try that again. Go rest until... Oh, we got the nice bed now. Go rest until healed. Let's try this without the horrible side effects this time. There you go. 
Easy, it was perfect. The fantastic news is at long last we have the multi-analyzer, and that means we can get our surgical lamp and our other thing, I'm sure. Bad news, we got a whole bunch of very explosive, very angry rats. <laughs> the other, other good news is we have a hell of a kill box. It's not a kill box. It's a zone in which we will dispatch things safely with little risk. It just happens to be a box shape that things will die in. I don't mean it's a uh, kill box. I've gone slightly sweaty with this kill box. I say slightly. I, okay, I've got the, the uh, thornweed, which is uh, a plant that will have a, some sort of anesthetizing effect. Uh, that, in turn, leads to chunks. So we've got uh, an incredible amount of slowing there. And because they're staggered, then they will slow down and speed up and slow down. If it was only chunks, then they would maintain a consistent speed. But this way, it's going to really mess them up. It's going to really mess them up. And then there we've got the sandbags so that they can't hide behind the corner. It's a sweaty kill box. Fine. I'll admit it. I'll admit it's a sweaty kill box. Oh, shit. Um. You don't want to, like, shoot those rats, though. Well, this accidentally works out incredibly well. I mean, this is what I planned all along. By having this funnel, they are forced to go around. And that is exactly what I planned. I don't know why they're doing that. <laughs> I mean, I'm not complaining. Have I accidentally designed the greatest kill box you've ever seen? I might have. And it was completely unintentional, but he's done it. I mean, apparently it's irrelevant because these colonists can't hit anything to save their life. That was a hell of a shot, though. I take that back. Easiest manhunt pack of my life. Wow, what a kill box. I was accidentally fantastic, huh? Is it genuinely... Why would they just not path over? <laughs> ah, also occurred to me that they had Scaria and they were on top of our characters. Yeah, that could have been a disaster. No, I think we're quite far off of the multi-analyzer. We haven't got any plastil and we've only got 15 out of 20 gold. There was some gold over here, which I've queued up. It's all down to Karen now. Karen, what are you doing? Resting. Why? Because you're tired. <laughs> she went there for five minutes of sleep, you idiot. Penelope, Penelope from the Grasshopper Men. Penelope, you any good? World Worry Fast Learner? Not really. I don't think we need that. Seven Crafting Double Passion. We've already got a good crafter. We don't need melee skill. In fact, I'm not taking anybody that, that doesn't have either good medical or good shooting. Ah, oh, Shmeeb. Those fucking longworms. Those longworms are insane. That's minus 10% on both lungs there. And I assume it can stat beyond that, given that it currently it's minus. So if it ticks again... Man, that's so silly. And that's a permanent... That's permanent damage. If we didn't have the flesh craft, I mean, we'd be doomed. If we didn't have any replacement lungs, which we don't have right now, but theoretically we could. Does that have to be humans? Can we flesh craft a rat? I'm going to assume we can't flesh craft a... It does just say from a corpse. Hmm. A <laughs> uh, human corpse, though, right? A uh, fresh humanoid corpse. Damn it. I saw somebody in the comments yesterday complaining about uh, me apparently not noticing we haven't got any food. We have food. We have plenty of food. We have lots of food. We're fine. Don't panic. Turns out that you were the one who didn't notice. How does that feel, huh? How could you be so naive? Let's crack open a cold one with the boys. <laughs> Let's celebrate having an incredible kill box. In fact, you know what? Let's just get somebody to crack it open and everyone else can hide. You guys go stand over there. Uh, you can probably shoot them from outside, can't you? Yeah. Here we go. Hello there. We've got Gary. Gary has woken up and has immediately blasted himself with some morphine. Then we have Emmy Gardner. You know what? I'm really interested in their gear. If that's okay. And not like the gear that Gary's got. <laughs> what is Joy? A drug developed by the Herbal government to keep its citizens in check. Produces a strong euphoric high, very addictive. I don't have that. Uh, the recon armor, the gas mask, the flat goals, the bolt action, all of that would be really nice. 25 plastil! Oh, it's a dream come true. Um, back off. Where the hell are you going? Let them shoot one another. We'll kill the survivors. Okay, Emmy is down. Do me a favor, blast Rachel. No, 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 don't go in there, though. No, 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 Karen, 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 Karen. Will someone shoot her? For fuck's sake! You're just letting her run away! She's got really good gear! Idiots. Unfathomable idiots. Right, let's go shoot Gary. And then let's go grab Emmy's stuff. You want to arrest her? You know what? That's fine. Was she any good? That wasn't me. You're just being dramatic. Was she any good? Rachel Coffey. Uh, shooting nine double passion. Sickly. No. No, I would. you do not bring that evil here. No way. Are the other two any good? Thick-skinned dog person. Social eight. Not really. Uh, super immune. 
but you're only good at artistic. That's pathetic. Capable of dumb labor, labor caring or social. I'm also incapable of caring. As in, I'm leaving you on the floor goodbye. Oh, treasure trove. Of really, really good stuff there, too. And how much plant steel did we get from that? Just 25. I didn't know if any of the others had any in their pockets, given that apparently that's what we do now. And you know what? Through some miracle... We didn't lose a single person today. I wouldn't say things were exactly going well in the colony, given that our people are tumorous masses whose lungs are on the verge of failure constantly. Slick is in so much pain that all the time he can, he just cannot walk. It's the pain that's keeping him down. <laughs> so everybody's some degree of fucked, right? A lot of people more than others. Oh my God, a lot of people very significantly more than others. Uh, low? Low, Karen, and show right now are untouched. Everybody else is on the verge of uh, immediate death, or at least constant pain. We have the hospital. We have the medicine. We have the defenses. We're on the brink of multi-analyzer, which will allow us to get all of the other hospital unlocks. And we've got the comms console, the trade beacons. Fantastic progress today. Incredible progress. Not to mention all of that stuff that we've looked from here that we'll need to pick through tomorrow. Now I think we go from prevention, which has been the goal from the past couple of episodes here, to uh, cure. We have to try and find a way to solve these people. So the second we get that multi-analyzer tomorrow, we finish off the last bits of the hospital. Then we try and upgrade our medicine. And hopefully we can start getting rid of some of these carcinomas. We can start getting rid of some of this permanent damage. And hopefully, maybe one day, we might be so lucky that our flesh crafting gives us more than just a pile of toes and livers and tongues. But that is tomorrow's problem. Thank you all for watching. <laughs> Patrons, I will have an update video for you all at some stage. The... This mod pack not only became far more um, interesting than I thought it ever would be, and, and I've been doing some more behind-the-scenes stuff on actually this mod pack ready to roll out for tomorrow's episode, but I've also been working on the Definitely Not Generations 2 mod pack, because that's still a secret, because I haven't technically announced it yet. Uh, but that's going on behind the scenes, talking with some modders and, and sorting out some things there. Lots of good ideas on that front. And I'm trying to work on a mod pack for a game for the second channel too. So this has been... Every day is just non-stop mod packery right now, and it's a nightmare to keep it all juggled and balanced, but things are coming along. I got very close to the second channel series, almost ready to roll out. Generations is cool, but not nowhere near finished, but what we've got right now is really, really cool. And if I can keep that consistent theme across the whole thing, it's probably going to be the best series we've ever done. So I think your, your patience will be rewarded on that front. Thank you in the meantime to Void Angel, Steak and Bacon Akins, Londar, Exodius, Justin Rules, Holy Reapers, The Valet That Crashed Your Car, Aramis, Slipping Hips, Kane, Taco Cat, Quiss, Zlad the Impaler, Sir K, Adam Spleen, The Link King, Hottie Sphinx, and Rising Phoenix as well for their support over there. Apologies about the delay on the uh, list not being updated either. The new system still has some teething to, to sort out. Some aspects. Wow. Aspects of it are fully automated, like getting names into the game, but the end card generation stuff I've still got to all do manually, and that's taken a lot of time on top of everything else. So apologies about that one. Uh, hopefully be fixed for tomorrow. And a thank you, in addition, to Maria, Mr. Samuel Streamer's new saint of the super soldiers, the gentleman ghostronaut, the little moist man, Miranda the Mighty, Red Noah, Black Magic, Alexander H. Bilbo Fraggins, Craigon, Catlord, Erotha, Cass, Runeloon, Lan Narth. <laughs> Oh, I've lost it. I've completely... This episode has frazzled me. Lanath. J1293. Callum James 3. Chicken Robo. Nigel. Cameron. Fatigable. Speaking of fatigable, I'm going to go lie down because apparently I've lost the ability to speak. See you all tomorrow. I was reading more than speaking. It took me so long to process that bloody number then.